this about recording about uh, what uh, Senator Peter Mwoboshi went to the UK to do with uh, Ibori celebrating corruption when his people that is supposed to be representing are gnashing in pain, so hunger and starvation. It's a show of show of a senator. This man ought to be recalled with alacrity. He is not worthy to be a senator represent, representing cats. It is what Nigeria has turned into. Good morning, Nigeria. I would like to use this opportunity to talk about a few things you know, that borders on the state of Nigeria today. Yesterday, uh, the news filtered in that the ex governor of Delta State, uh, Mr. James Onanefe Ibori, was released from his London uh, jailhouse. After seven, uh, 14 year J10. But well, there are a lot of questions arising about his release and the way his release is being celebrated uh, in Delta State. I don't know where we are heading. How corrupt men have become. Uh, rock stars that uh, Nigerians now celebrate, especially in my home state of Delta. I will demand who arrogantly touts himself as the Oracle, Senator Peter Mwoboshi, and his political career with his brazen support and eloquent celebration of fraud and corruption pen pers personified in James Onanefe Ibori. Senator Peter Mwoboshi gives a rogue and corrupt interpretation to Anyama's age-long astute definition of morality, decency, honor, hard work, integrity, honesty, with his disgusting trip to the UK yesterday to celebrate Mr. James Ibori, a fraud, a tre treasury looter, and a generational killer who should be tried as a war criminal for crimes against humanity. In his speech yesterday, he roundly implicated the fellow James Ibori, whom he referred to as his friend and boss, as being remotely responsible for producing the Nigerian Senate president. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, a serving governor, and several senators from his prison cell in the UK, and by implication, therefore, the remote cause of the intractable crisis of confidence between the Nigerian presidency and the National Assembly, for which he should be held in contempt and appropriately prosecuted for treason. Has Nigeria become so degenerated now to the extent that evil men no longer hide as we traditionally know to perpetrate evil? And has evil now become such a standard powerful, a standard that is powerful enough to displace the cause of good that Nigeria, Nigerians now openly partake, celebrate and share it with it? Consequence on consciousness as a Nigerian from Delta State, born at Ababo, it was exceptionally agonizing to watch in a virally circulating video on the social media a numerous senator Peter Woboshi representing Delta North Senatorial District elogizing James Ibori 
a man who started his stealing escapade as a shoplifter in a London departmental store and elevated it to an Olympia height when he reigned with a celebrated benevolent ruinous impunity for eight years as governor of Delta State. With Amos Utwama, his attorney general and commissioner of justice, providing the needed legal, legal framework for his merciless plundering of the state's treasury. At the end of his looting tenure, he made it possible for his own cousin, Dr. Emmanuel Udwanga, to succeed him as governor. And Emmanuel Udwanga it was who completed the routing of the state treasury during another period of eight years, dogged by a multi-dimensional fraud and massive looting of the treasury to put the state and its citizen into a debt overhang of nearly 700 billion naira, using fake contract awards as conduit for siphoning the money. Emmanuel Odoa was the anchorman who went ahead to provide him, James Bory, the judicial cover he needed via a legal script yet again written by Amos Utwama, who was at the time his deputy governor, to shield him from prosecution, deploying his goons in the crooked and pseudo-manipulated data state judiciary, which gave him an undeserving clean bill of legal health and the freedom to keep our common word that he looted in concert with a vast network of criminals from across the state, including everybody in the video in his pocket at the expense of data, the majority of whom now grind through abject poverty and squalor for lack of the needed financial resources to administer the state. Senator Peter Woboshi, yesterday in his eloquent rendition, demonstrated a strange type of courage and callous confidence in destroying the anomal mandate upon which he wrote to the Senate, even though he did not merit it by any standard, including but not limited to his previous record of service. With what I saw on that London video yesterday, Senator Peter Mwoboshi has passed a deserving vote of no confidence on himself, and his action is an, aff an affront on the sensibility of the Anioma people, who ought to be addressed by recalling him with immediate effect from the Senate. It is becoming very clear each passing day why our youths are mostly dysfunctional. I hope his media team of attack dogs and his uncalled supporters have enough data to watch their master's confidence in Odium and where he was referring to a thief as his boss. By implication, on his own words, Senator Peter Mwoboshi is a thief and therefore part of that thieving dynasty that brought data state on her knees to the extent that the present government is having to contend with a monumental debt overhang which cannot be paid off by this generation of debtors. The hypnotic 5 over 5 aka PDP or the way rhetoric with which our people were deceived into voting Senator Peter Mwoboshi, a celebrated charlatan and other non performers from Delta North into offices was such a disaster to Delta and Deltans, and I hope it will not be repeated in 2019. For James Onanefe Ibori, I don't think it is a whole yet, as he will still have the Nigerian mm -hmm. anti corruption authorities to contend with on his arrival to Nigeria, if ever. Though the Senate, led by its felonious president is populated by some eminently corrupt and fraudulent men including one drug baron among them that is wanted currently in the united states for his involvement with drug trafficking i call upon the few men and women of honor among them to set a machinery in motion to indefinitely suspend senator peter Woboshi, representing data senator district for dragging the nigerian senate into odium 
I also call on their normal people whose mandate was so crushed by their loose canon of a senator to recall him for his opprobrious behavior that has cast a huge doubt on his credibility, ability, competence, and content of character, and an ominous implication of his bad representation on the psyche of the youths from the area who looked upon up to him for leadership, guidance, and direction before his somersault into ignominy. Felons should no longer influence and impact on the present and future of free men and women of Delta State. This oracle has failed because he is a fraud that is no longer good for Anyoma and the Anoma people. God bless Nigeria.